Hello everyone, my name is Marie and um, as you asked me about, I do start free lessons how to recognize when you see upgoing tendency, downgoing tendency, how to recognize trading signal, how do I use different instruments and I do begin my free trading lessons especially for you here on YouTube and it will be here forever so you can check it anytime you want and as I learned many years ago for myself what I should start with, what is my next step, what do I do next to decide to open long or short position, I will step by step publish it here on YouTube in this block of free trading lessons. Well, this is some name that I made just right now because I do have time to give you some trading uh, knowledges and I hope it will help you. So stay with me on the YouTube channel sign in and of course um, sign to my uh, to my youtube channel you have the telegram channel and of course if you push this thumbs up i will be really thankful to you so what do we start with guys i need from the very beginning to tell you that we always need history my trading club pro my trading club gets videos gets uh, different um, analytical researchers with a message that here is a tendency that begins in 2014 and we take in account this level because of that I usually use history we all need history please try to remember when you went to school do you remember such a subject as a history of your own country history of worldwide uh, everything that is connected with the world so you know History is something that we need and we need to have it as a base. Here in trading we need history as a help to us to recognize some levels that can appear in 5, in 7, in 10 years as a help, as a support from where we'll start to buy some currency or from where we'll start to sell some currency. So your trading skills should be based on history first of all also if you are here a new one and you decided just to make easy money uh, well i wish you luck and maybe i'm not the right person for you if you are here to get a profession and to understand what you are doing here and well some days you go to my channel and you get some trading ideas and you use it but if i close my channel and if i don't appear you don't have trading ideas because you don't know what to do and you go to search for other analytical researchers you go to search other people who will help you to decide should you buy or should you sell so those lessons for you so that you become a good trader a good trading uh, expert for yourself first of all well what i mean uh, that you need history on this in this video we will start with drawing some tendencies some trends and i will explain you from the very beginning what you do when you open computer you open your trading terminal what you have to do usually when someone asks me to explain uh, or to give a forecast of some stock market or well, some currency pair and they don't trade it now what i do i begin from the history of its instrument i do need to understand first thing what is the trend what is the tendency from the history what is what's going on going on now mm, related to history so your very first step is to go and uh, to go and um, watch what's going on with them uh, with the history of this instrument if you uh, remember usually I show you something like that this is my um, this is my uh, terminal where I do give analytical researches this is something that I used to trade with many years ago and uh, this is the terminal where I used to learn and I do think that it is comfortable for me to give you analytical researches based on this platform. But I know that you usually trade on MT4, MT5 and so on. So just the interface is different. Instruments are the same. Use any trading terminal that you use with those lines, with those Fibonacci extensions and so on. Okay, So uh, you don't have to find some opportunity to trade on this terminal. This is, a, by the way, this is a very bad terminal to trade there because uh, broker, as I know, doesn't support it. So please just follow my technical idea. Okay, just follow my technical idea 
how to recognize trend and so on. What we do. You are on your own near computer and you don't know what should you do. Should you sell your, should you buy your and why? You open history and what you can see with your dollar from the very beginning when it costed 1.1890 to current price 1840. Well, actually nothing serious happened. Yes, we had we had some bottom price 08240. We had some very expensive price 1.6040. So now based on history you know what is the maximum price? You know what is the maximum price? You know what is the lowest price? For current situation, what, what's going on? The price is in the middle of this range. So based on yearly tendency, there is no decision for you. You just trying to get to know this instrument, okay? And from the background of this instrument, you know that there was some extra price, some lowest price. Uh -huh. So you know that current price is in the middle and this is not the lowest price in history like it's for gas right now, okay? Or the highest price as it's for gold, for example. The price now for your dollar is in the middle. Okay, well, it doesn't help, but now we know a little bit more about this currency. We can't draw any tendency here right now because it's not like a beautiful picture that will give you a clue what's going on. We go to monthly chart. Usually to draw some tendencies we take those minimum and maximum prices. For example, we take the minimum price which happened in 2000. You take some uh, channel, you take the minimum price and you start to draw from the lowest price to next lowest price, which wasn't broken. If we take the lowest price in 20, uh, into to, 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 to 20 uh, oh, next price here, what can we see? That this tendency was broken in 2015. If we take this minimum price in 2017, like this. Minimum price first one, next 2015. What can we see here? It wasn't broken but price touched it already and tried to break and went up. It tried to break and went up. So what should we do? We should take the minimum price and after that go to current minimum price. This will be the right, this will be like the, the, the right technical uh, move. What do we do now? We take not just tendency line, but channel. We take channel. You have to remember how to draw those tendencies. That is why I am being really slow right now and make an example on euro dollar, okay? We take the minimum price that you see on a history. Minimum price on a history. This minimum price, after that, you take next minimum price and you put your highest price here as some resistance. We need it. Just remember that we need it because if you take into account a situation from the beginning of this century, so it looks like the price is trying to go higher and we will need in future the middle side of this upgoing tendency. Okay, so we will need the middle side. Just remember it. I always have this 50% line in the range and it helps in future to understand where price goes to and where it can stop. Uh, this terminal is not really good all the time, so I will try to draw it once again. Yes, like this. So if price, for example, we don't take into account any fundamental information, we take into account only technical situation. So if price goes up from current moment, it will stop, I predict based on technical situation, that it will stop on 1.40 area, okay? This is not a forecast. This is just technical situation. For example, if it starts to go up, it will stop right here. Well, now we go 
uh, I can show you, for, for example, um, for example, a situation for Euro Australian dollar. Well, uh, you could see upgoing tendency from 2012. Price was going up. It was going up, up. And I told you in last year, in the beginning of this year, I told you when they break the middle side, they will go to upper side, okay? of this upgoing tendency. That is why we need all the time all those tendencies. So if they start to go up from this bottom part and first area where they stop will be here near the middle side of this upgoing tendency. Uh, how does this information help me right now to trade? It's not a help to trade right now yet. We are just trying to make an analytical research. What should we do next? We should see, this is the like 20 years old tendency that is going up. If we take the situation right here from 2008 when we had this huge collapse with the banking system and so on. So what should we do? We should take into account the highest price in this history. We take into account the highest price of euro dollar, first dot. What's next? We can take this price for example, and make a line and you see that they broke it a couple of times. So this is not a useful one. We can take this dot and make a tendency. And what we see now, that price is trying to break this tendency right now, in this moment, in this month. Okay. Do we, do we need this history tendency line? Yes, we do need this history tendency line. So I draw this tendency line, I take first dot. This is the highest price of this currency pair. Next dot, uh, second one is the one that wasn't broken yet. And third one is the lowest between them. If they give me to, to draw it, okay. First, second, and the lowest between them is like that. So we have this downgoing tendency. What I need right now is to, is to prolong this tendency down so that I see how they break it and when they break it, okay? Yeah, so we have a couple of helping tendencies like this one and this one. Okay, what, what does it tell me? What can I use from here? That now you see a good resistance. Resistance means that price may stop here. Okay, price may stop here. I hope you do understand why I made those tendencies like that. Please stop my video right now. Go to your trading terminal and make the same situation, okay? Make same channels. You take Fibonacci channel uh, in options, you put uh, this 50% line, so you will have the 50% of this uh, tendency line, and you make same situation in your terminal. Please go and do it. I hope my explanation will help you to make same picture right now, and you will see how price goes and tests this tendency line, which may become a moment to stop for euro to go up. If we take 20 years tendency, here is an opportunity to go up to 140 area. But now we understand that here is a resistance, like 12 years old resistance. And price may stop here right now. So after they break 119 area, it is okay to wait in a period of months in a period of months, it is okay to wait for 140 area, okay? But here on monthly chart, now you can see the, uh, the, 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 the trend line that will maybe, that will maybe stop your long positions, okay? Now we go to weekly chart and daily chart. Uh, I need, I need this to become weekly. Now it can't become a weekly area. So yeah, now we will cancel yearly uh, chart and we will put weekly chart here.
I do add some history. So, okay, on a weekly chart, what helps me now to work? As I know, this tendency is right here, is right here. So price is near the tendency line. Can I make some tendency on weekly chart here, like only like that? From the bottom side, when it started to go up, I do make this tendency. Does it help me to trade right now? No, no, it doesn't. But when price goes down, for example, I will pay attention to this tendency. If they give me a sell signal right now and price goes down, I will pay attention to this tendency as well in the future, okay? Now we go to daily chart. As you know from bigger period, here is some resistance and price may go down. As I usually tell you in my free videos on YouTube, we need reaction on level, we need candlestick signal and after that we need price to break the previous tendency. So what will be the previous tendency? How I draw it, how I make it for you understandable. I draw this tendency from the March. Current price is really far from that tendency. So it does not help me anyhow. What is my next tendency? I will make it like that. Current price is still really far from this tendency. So while I see the break of this tendency, a lot of pips will pass, will go without me. So what, what, what I can do, I make one more tendency and it looks like that. Does it help me? Well, it looks much better because yes, I can get an opportunity to get a good break of this tendency and when they break it, so I will put my profit um, idea to next tendency line. So it, it is closer. Now, to get uh, a clue what's going on and what I can do here, I need one more chart. I always need hourly chart. So I will add it now. Euro dollar, one hour chart. And I need to make one more tendency. Look here. Well, I, I think we should add some history. You can actually uh, make same tendencies like this from the bottom side, from the bottom price of March. You make tendency by minimum prices, by minimum prices. Make it the same in your terminal. If we say that those are lessons, so you have to listen to me and after that go and make it with your hands in your terminal. Okay, so I hope you follow me and I hope you do it. Now we made th this tendency. After that, we take last minimum price and we draw one more tendency. What's going on here? It's a good tendency. Why I need it? Because I make, um, I do understand from which next dot I make one more tendency. So from the last dot I make new tendency by minimum prices because this is an upgoing tendency. So I draw it by minimum prices. So one more tendency like this. And this is much closer right now. So what we have? We have mm, three times uh, rebound from one level, but it's still not a reason to sell, okay? When they give me break of this tendency, when they give me break of this tendency, I will understand that this is a moment for euro dollar to go down. And this will be a good reason to open short positions that most likely will bring us profit, not only to trade because everyone tell you to trade and it works everywhere. Look here, look. Today in my Traders Club Pro, I gave an idea to sell, to sell euro dollar. Look here, here is some tendency. Look, pay attention. This is local intraday tendency based on huge tendency. So it doesn't work only on 15 minute chart on one or, or one hour chart. First of all, you have to understand total tendency. We open big time frame, we open smaller, smaller and smaller time frame. 
to understand what's going on and how we can trade. So on hourly chart, I do understand that price is going up. But as I just showed you from August 4th, we saw up going tendency. And it was one of my important dots. So I do make one more tendency. What's going on? Price breaks it, gives a retest, and after that it goes down. Okay? So this is this is like the moment that you can use. And after that, of course, after that, I use not only tendency line. As I see an, an important level, I go on 15-minute chart and I use my own trading system with the uh, moving averages. There are a lot of moving averages channels that I use to trade and um, stochastic oscillator and so on. So, but we begin with tendencies, okay? We begin with this information. So here, I hope you do understand now why I decided to open short position and why it was good for me because of huge tendency on monthly chart that I showed you because of good rebound uh, of broken tendency on our hourly chart. So this is what you have to use day by day and to be sure that you do understand where is the huge tendency, where the smallest tendency is. Please follow those steps. Please. Make it with your mouse, with your hands. Repeat those things in your trading terminal and do decide, please decide for yourself that you do understand why I make these lines. Come back to the moments where I make those video, or those lines. Watch it one more time. Repeat it in your terminal. Please repeat it a couple of times. Make screenshots. Do understand with your eyes. This is the most important thing. Guys, I do tell it you for free here on YouTube. And you have to understand that this is the most important thing to understand it with your own eyes. That you see those lines. That you see those tendencies. Please, um, I hope you follow it. And I hope you repeat it in your terminal. Write feedback if it's okay. If it works for you. And we will go further, okay? We will make next step. This is not the only one thing that you have to understand and go trade right now. No, there is a lot to understand before you put your own money. If I get a lot of likes, like this thumbs up, thumbs up, I need, well, let's take like 100 <laughs> thumbs up, <laughs> 100 thumbs up under this video. And I will make your new video. So I do understand that you like it, that you need it. And I, I hope it will help you to become a better trader. Actually, I, I know that I will make next video for you because I know you need it, guys. You write me letters, you'll write me messages all the time. I hope it will help you. But only if you work with yourself, you have to make yourself sit and do, make, make these steps. We just discussed euro dollar. We don't make any forecast right now. I just ask you to make those lines for yourself, okay? All those trading systems and all those small, small details we will discuss later. For now, I need you to do those steps. We can take some more. Well, let's take, I don't know, maybe we can take Great Britain Pound. If it's interesting for you, let's take Great Britain Pound and repeat same steps as I just did for you with the Euro dollar. For example, we need Great Britain Pound yearly chart. After that, I add uh, a couple of more, a couple of more windows with the different time frames it's more comfortable for me to have uh, to have uh, a lot of windows with the different time frames monthly chart after that i need a weekly chart weekly chart after that we need daily chart and also we need hourly chart one hour chart okay what also we need we need history so i do check that here is the right history and okay what we do we open yearly picture here is a history from 1992 on this in this terminal picture from 1992 uh, well what we have we have maximum price in 2007 it was 2.1160 
We have minimum price for Great Britain Pound and it was this year. The price is 1.1440. What do we know right now from this picture? That current price is really close to minimum area in history of this currency pair. This is not a signal to buy and hold. No, this is not yet. But this gives you a clue that currency is cheap. And it's cheap based on its history. It's really cheap. Can it go down further? Can it become cheaper? Yes, it can. Yes, it can become cheaper. So you don't have to buy only because it's on the lowest price, okay? Now we go to monthly chart. What do I see here? I see that price is trying to give me a rebound from the bottom side. It's trying to give me a rebound and to go up. Can I make some tendencies? Well, let's try to make some tendencies because here we learn to make tendencies. If we take the maximum price that was in history, we need the maximum price, first dot, we need second dot, and what we get? It's not broken yet. So you know that price will go up to this tendency line and it may stop here. As you can see, this will be a really good level because it was level of support in 2019, it was level of resistance in 2008, so this may become a really good dot as a target to buy to. Be careful, 135. Well, this is a little bit about focus, but let's go further. Can we make upgoing tendency? Upgoing tendency. There is no opportunity because minimum price is right here and there is no opportunity to make this tendency. So that's it. Let's go on weekly chart. But from monthly chart, I hope you remember, we got an idea that here is a tendency that begins in 2007. Here is a tendency. So you have to remember about this tendency. Now we go to weekly chart. Can you make upgoing tendency on weekly chart? Yes, I can already. And what should I take? I take minimum price. I take minimum price, I take next price, it's right here, two dots. So there is no good channel, upgoing channel, but the tendency is okay. Does it help me to work right now? No, it's not. So there is no reason for me to hold this, um, this tendency here. I will just go further. Please remember that analytical research for occurrences is not based only on tendencies. This is our first step that we learn just to understand what is the tendency here for currency pairs, okay? This is not the moment that you don't know how to make this tendency and it's all, well, it, it's not, it doesn't work for me. This is our first step, please remember. What can I do here? I take instrument, channel, in your MT4 and so on, you can take the channel Fibonacci and in options, you change this 50% um, line, you print it 50%, you type it 50% line and you will get same uh, as I have middle 50% line. How do I draw this upgoing tendency? I need first price that was in March, I need second price that was here in June and I need third price that was between them. It's right here in April. What do we get now? Price is being in upgoing tendency and it stopped near this 50% area. You can see how it, it, it happens, what all, it, it happens right now. So we can see that price stopped, but they didn't give a sell signal. There was no sell signal and price will go further. How far? It may go up to 135 area. By the way, this is like the maximum price in December, last December. But what we use, we will use this, um, uh, the, the, this uh, resistance tendency as well. This is not the target. No, this is not the target. We just need to have it on our chart. If something happens and price will go really fast, high up, you have to remember that here is this tendency. That is why just for case you need this instrument. Now we go on hourly chart and what it what it gives us to understand right here 
well, I add some history and make same tendencies. Guys, I'm being really slow. This is so not like I am usually in trading, in forecast and so on. I am being really slow, especially for you. What we do, we, we take one line, tendency line. We draw this tendency. First line, first dot, March, second dot, June. What's next? We take this minimum price in June and next lowest price. So this will be like the second dot. Okay, current price from the tendency is still really far. So it doesn't help us to trade. We take the minimum price here and next minimum price that we have. It's right here. So upgoing tendency, there is no reason to sell right now. What we do next, we, take, we make one more tendency like this. And what it gives us, here is some level of support, uh, level of resistance. If they break the previous tendency, if they break this tendency that begins from August 4th, after that, we are okay to sell with the target to tendency that begins from July 20th. Okay. So, but what we do understand is the tendency is still going up. There is no reason to sell because there is no changed tendency. Okay, I hope that you will repeat now all the movements that I made for you and I do hope that it will help you. Please ask your questions under the video. I'm being really slow and I'm trying to be really easy right now with you. And what you have to use is only a chart and tendency line. Second instrument is the Fibonacci channel with a 50% option in, in options you have to add this 50% line okay this will be the middle side of a range that will help you to understand where a price may stop between going in the tendency I hope you do understand what I tell you and I really hope that it will help you guys <laughs> if it's good for you and you want more please press this thumbs up and of course right under the channel what you feel after I did gave you this information, after you repeat it in your terminal. And don't repeat it only with the Euro and Great Britain Pound. Open gold, open indexes, open currencies, different currencies, and repeat same movements. You have to remember that tendency is not only upgoing tendency. You will meet some downgoing tendency as well, but you have to repeat same uh, same details, same movements all the time. The maximum price, the minimum price, you see the history, you see the whole history, you see the maximum price, the minimum price, and you start to make those tendencies on big time frames from those biggest and lowest prices, okay? I hope that you understand me and well, more to go, guys. For my trading club, I did make a video that will help them to decide what to trade until the end of the week. And on Sunday, I will publish a new video for my trading club. You are welcome to join my trading club for only $5 a month. And you get in this trading club twice a week video with explanations why I decide to trade here and what I feel about those currencies and what I do trade, what I buy, what I sell. And in my Trading Club Pro, I do give trading ideas intraday and on one hour chart, but day by day I do give those trading ideas. You are welcome to become a professional trader and I will help you to become a professional trader. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.